What's up guys? Good morning, noon, or night, depending on where you're viewing from. We are at the Guggen Squad Warehouse, having a good old time, getting ready to load up the kayaks, man, on the lime green trailer that you guys know Devin and I picked up recently and only have used in one or two videos. So it's getting some more screen time today, though. I'm about to back the truck up, load it up, get the kayaks on this thing, stack it with a couple bona fides for Devin and I to shoot a couple videos over the next couple days. I'm actually getting out with MDLR Fishing, my buddy Mark this morning. We always have a blast when we get out. He is from down in Houston. You gotta check out his channel. The guy's got a lot more subscribers than me and he's having a good time doing this stuff. He's actually fishing the coast quite frequently down South Texas. He's catching a lot of different species than you'll see on this channel. So we're gonna have fun going for some largies today at a lake I've never fished. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go ahead and get these things loaded up and out to the water. On these attachments, y'all, you're supposed to actually crisscross them. I'm gonna go over here with that one. This one's on the far side. I'm gonna bring it over. That way, if something were to happen and this disconnects right here and you're in trouble, this crisscross pattern will hopefully catch that trailer. Just a little tip. Which one should we take, man? We got orange, we got gray, we got blue. We have we have options here. We got teal on, that's too high. I don't want to get the one on the top. But we could take this guy. No. I think I settled for the easy ones. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Oh, without breaking anything, preferably. Oh yeah, she's good to go. She's already got a box. She's got the uh, anchor for like those six to seven, something like that foot depths. We've got half a paddle. That's not gonna fly. We've got the seat, dry storage, pretty much locked and loaded. Let's get this one in the trailer and pick out the second one. Devin and I are probably gonna use these again for the next couple videos on the channel. Look forward to some kayak stuff. I'm excited about it. Dude. And we got all the plugs, all the plugs. Put these babies in here. Uh, I think we looking pretty good. Anything in here? Oh, more plugs. These SS 127s fit in the 12 foot trailer like perfectly. Literally when the gate's up, you don't even have to really tie them down because check this out. This is the tail end, right? The gate's right here. And then let me walk you over to the front. Literally, the front of the kayak sits perfectly underneath here and it just locks it in place. So sick. I think even though it's gonna be more of a pain, I'm gonna take the blue one. That way we got red, we got, well it's orange, red, we got blue, we got the green trailer, and uh, yeah, little color never hurt anybody. Got it, don't forget one of these. Never know what we might be catching, what we might hook into, so grab me a little Yak Attack net. Second one's loaded, we still need to throw some accessories in the tailgate though. Net. Second couch. Looking like it's gonna be a colorful day of fishing, you guys. I'm all about it. This thing have a key in it. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Quick little rip sesh. Don't tell the guys, please. Here we go. This one matches the trailer. This should do nicely. All right, boys, load them up. Oh, yeah. These uh, seats are locked in tight. I'm going to leave this one on the yak because I'm just a short stroll away from the lake here, and we'll be all set. Well, I'm a little low on my Guggen baits. I might not seem like it from the videos, but I'm a little low on the confidence colors, and we're going to pick up some more. Let's head into the store. Man, are y'all as excited as me to see Mark? I don't get to catch up with him that much. I'm excited. I'm pumped, man. Tundra gang. All right, y'all, we got the goods. We're stocked up with a lot of baits. Let's go hit the water, man. Next time I catch up with you will probably be when we're launching the Yaks. Okay, I lied. Quick pit stop. I gotta grab some Chick-fil-A before we hit the water. Let's get in here. Thank you. Hey, look, two spicy chicken sandwiches, large fry, a couple ranches. Can't go wrong, man, but I skipped the soda, didn't want all the sugar, went for a water, now it's time to find the best place to launch these yaks. Let's get after it. Well, ramp is closed. You know how it gets. Always trying to make plans, launch at 12. It's now almost one o'clock. Mark and I are just getting to the ramp. And wouldn't you know, we run into another hiccup, and it is 
the road closure, but it looks like we just make a couple right turns and we'll be back. I grabbed both yaks, but Devin's not joining me today, so I'm trying to DM a few of y'all that I fished with and uh, see if y'all wanted to come join me today. I haven't got any responses yet, but hey, look, I'm looking for a third, man. Me, Mark, and whoever wants this third yak today. Let's go. Okay, this side's a little better. This one just says road closed to through traffic, but we ain't going through. Yes, we have made it. Okay, took me 10 attempts, but look, I backed the trailer up, guys. You should be proud. Didn't hit nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> the bona fide yaks, the new. Check Mark out, you guys. Look at this thing. Mark, tell them about this little deal. So this, this kayak, yeah. super sexy, a bass fisherman's dream. Old Town Sportsman, it's their new lineup, the Autopilot 120. This guy Ooh. is going to be turning some heads for sure. If you're lazy like me, then you have a trolling motor at running things. It's That's your power. That's the heart and soul of this thing. And it's got autopilot. So what does that mean? You hit a little spot lock button. Say if you found a juicy bunch of trees out there in 20 feet of water, you hit spot lock and the Minn Kota is going to do it to it. It's going to keep you there locked on that spot to be able to jig up all those bass, all that crappie, whatever it is. This guy is definitely going to give you all day comfort. Nice. Got to check it out. Ooh, guys, definitely. I'm liking this thing. He just picked up some extra parts for it down here in, or up here in Dallas because he's from down south. And we're going to rock and roll today. This man's almost at 30,000 subscribers. Show his channel some love. We're going to get everything unloaded. You saw me pick up the Guggen Baits. There's a new tackle backpack that I haven't even put in a video yet that we're about to showcase. We're going to get these things in the water. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. What's your name, man? Tony. Tony? I watch our YouTube video. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah question. Pleasure. But usually here is the spot. No right way. Where they're catching. So man, just met a viewer. Tony with the pointers. He uh, told us about some big bass that was just pulled out of here and also the best spots to hit. Super pumped, man. Awesome dude. Let's go ahead and have at it. Everything you guys just saw me load up at the warehouse, I got to unload now. So let me go ahead and get to it. Mark is hooking it up with some locks. So hopefully old blue's here when we get back. <laughs> we have our yak set up right here. The thing is pimped out. SS 127s by Bonafide. We've got the yak attack net in case we link into a hog like Tony was telling us about. The new tackle backpack that you may or may not have seen on this channel yet, depending on what videos I've released before this one. Uh, we've got this box, which really I'm not using for anything uh, other than a rod holder. We got three combos back here. We're rocking the spinning drop shot. We've got a, a casting setup here with a chatterbait to start. We've also got a jig, and then I got a Texas rig. So I'm probably going to be retying. I don't think what I'm starting with is really as diversified as it could be, but that is just fine. We've got all that we need. Boom. Let's go. Bass are shivering because they know we're about to get out there myself. Oh, you know, There goes my yak. Well, 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 so far nothing but crazy wind and snags. Uh, not too confident in this today. Mark had to go grab some batteries because he left some over at the truck. Uh, it's just, I'm getting pushed all over the place in the open water. I'm thinking we're gonna work this bank here for a little while. And if it doesn't pan out, I still have to be to work in like three hours. So uh, I'm not afraid to just take this thing on shore, put this back in the trailer and uh, try and get some bank fish for y'all. Mark's out there with the trolling motor still rocking and rolling, but I was just trying to paddle through the thick stuff. It was a little tough. We're gonna go ahead, load this back up into the truck and hit some banks right around the corner, just off this body of water right here. We're gonna catch some fish today. The next one's not as windy. Let's go. I had to hit the pit stop 7-Eleven for some water, man. Cyclists are for real out here. It is cool. They are just tearing up the roads. It's like, guess what? It's getting used. Yeah, exactly. All right, y'all, as you can see, we're going with the triple tethered link here. We're uh, locking these babies up on the trailer, getting ready to hit the banks just down the way. Stay tuned. So how long do you figure before you go full time? 
Uh, I'm practically there now. <laughs> on by choice. <laughs> no, I, I just cut back Wednesdays at Valet. Probably good for y'all viewers to hear too. I literally just took another day off of work to try and devote more time to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Really all it means is that more of the same content can come out. I'm gonna try and, of course, go more full tilt and maybe do some uh, better edits if possible and when possible, but I'm telling you those cyclists, man, no joke. More time is what I really need because when I'm not filming, I'm editing, and when I'm not editing, I'm filming, and then I gotta work and it kinda cuts into the time. It's not very hard to make a video a day. You know, it's very easy, but it's also easy not to do if you just don't put uh, make those sacrifices. So, anyways, took a day off of work, trying to devote more time to this for you guys. And that's that, we're all about to hit the water. We found what looks to be the entrance here. There's some signs that we can't read because they're in Spanish, so we're pretty sure it says this is the entrance. Uh, nice and elegantly. I'm gonna pick that up, by the way. Nothing like a new Red Gills bag. <laughs> I appreciate that, Mark. Yeah. You the man. All right, let's get it. We are lugging around a lot of gear, but look at this, wow. What a spot. Where is the drone when you need it? Now this is a recipe for disaster with rod tips. Dude, this looked too good. This, this looks awesome. Yo, this looks amazing. Right out by that tree, here we go. I got you. Well, <laughs> it's still gonna be a little, still gonna be some finesse. If you wanna throw some of my stuff too, I got a chatterbait tied on. How cool is this spot? I don't know how to get over that way except for like crossing those rocks. Got the first snag. Oh man, that sucks. That was an awesome cast. To get wasted on a tree branch is not my favorite thing. Check the line. Feeling pretty solid. All right, let's get the hook out of here. I don't know if it's worth casting back over there now. Y'all, we made it to this little point in the back, some rock off in the background here, and uh, this spot looks so good, but what looks even better potentially is the water where it opens up a little further out. We wanted to hit this, but I'm like very tempted to try and cruise through this forest and see if there's a way out onto some of these points further towards that main body of water. I think this is a recipe for bass right here. So it looks simple enough, just walk across the rocks. You can't tell me this does not look dope, man. Look at this spot right here, holy cow. Here's the jump. Oh. There we are, we made it. You could say we're determined. Oh, this is good. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. oh whoa, yeah. I don't know how safe stepping on this is, but look at this potential. Pretty shallow. All right, guys, I am right in the current now. Oh, here we go. Look at this little spot to cast from. Mark's on! <laughs> Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. A ditch pickle from Dallas. And uh, this guy's swelling up on me. He is short but stocky. Look how fat this fella is. Oh my gosh. Thank you, little buddy. I really appreciate it. We're gonna let this guy go. <laughs> Dude, nice. Woo! First one of the day. Thank you, yes. I'm happy, man. New spots we've never hit before. Yeah. How cool. Let me show my viewers what you're throwing, because yes. I don't think it's Guggen Bates. <laughs> they like to see variants, and I don't give it to them. <laughs> a trusty old saltwater oh, lure. Oh, dude, man. salt water. Paddle tail. It's a uh, owner twist lock. Owner? Uh, one eighth ounce. Or actually, it's a one sixteenth ounce. Okay. On a, I think it's a three aught hook. Got their attention, man. All right, let's do it. I might just swim the crawl for a minute, Texas rig, and see if that there hits. There you go. It's similar, similar color. Yeah. <laughs> After consultations with MDLR fishing, I think I'm throwing the underspin guy right here got a little paddle tail swim bait right here this is them saucy swimmers on a flash bang you can pick this up at shop carl save 30 percent on your baits and tackle and catch these fish on a budget okay i think i got a good idea my good old friend crankbait right oh casting baby hopefully i'm on record for that one 
Oh, dude, how have I not gotten bit? That was the cast. Whoa. Oh, oh, speaking of, oh, it's decent. He's decent, Mark. I think my drag is not set. Dude, my drag is not set. What is it? What is this? It's a hybrid something, huh? <laughs> Smashing the cranks. Yo, look at how fat this thing is. He choked the crankbait. All right, guys, first catch of the day on the bubonic crank. I saw Mark throwing something with a little chartreuse tail, and it was a darker coloration at least, so I thought this thing could hit. Perfect cast right along the rocks here, and it was just, as soon as I started to feel the bottom and I noticed he was digging, got this guy's attention and he came in for the kill. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. What a catch. Woo! All right, we didn't get too much of a release shot because these trebles got him pretty good. I just wanted to get him back in the water. He did swim off, uh, but now we can talk a little bit more about that catch. The drag was not tight. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. Listen to that. The drag was not tight. I thought I was going to possibly lose him, but since he choked it, uh, there's just no coming off of these trebles. So got lucky there that that was not like a three, four, five pound bass and we missed the catch because of that drag. Now she's fixed up and uh, we are just going to make that same cast. Well, a little further out, but similar cast. Cruise this thing nice and slow. Try and get the rod tip as close to the water as I can. That way I'm really hitting the bottom if possible. And at the moment I'm not, but I'm thinking we get another one here in a minute. That was sick. What a catch. And I gotta leave for work soon. I literally have half an hour or less before I gotta leave. So Mark and I both pulled through at the last minute. That's so cool. All right guys, I think we're wrapping it up after one fish a piece. We had a ton of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and catch up with you guys back at the car. Wish us luck getting back across the uh, maze here. All right, guys, we are back and the trailer is still here. <laughs> we lucked out. Anyways, uh, Mark is going to stay the night. It's a Saturday, so he's going to be here. I think enjoy a nice Sunday brunch with his wife tomorrow morning before heading back down to Houston. But once again, please go check out his channel and uh, give a thumbs up on a few of his videos. Drop a comment. Such a cool dude. And he's always been so kind to us every time we run into him. Now, let's get this kayak loaded back onto his truck, give him his locks back and uh, make it back to work. Uh, luckily, I had somebody lined up to open for me, and then they got moved to another account. I valet cars, and I just got lucky because Macy came in clutch. She was able to open for me tonight, so I'm on a time crunch now. I got to get back up to Plano. Anyways, you guys, let's get to work. All right, man, I'm here at work with the Popeyes. Baby O'Connor, how much for a front spot? Well, you know, normally it's complimentary, but uh, the, for the trailer, that's gonna that's just going to be 50. Oh. Pocket change. Let's park some cars, y'all. Peace. <gasps>